Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard.
keepers. Fascinating creatures, genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You're wasting your time. Geth don't infiltrate. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Weapons detectors. Don't remember those from last time I was here. Upgraded security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. That'd be great.
Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Specter's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council, and wish a return to the status quo. That explains the tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. 
References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Mimetic engineering. Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers. Keeps public from panicking. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath, after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with the Citadel. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple of years. The important thing is to embrace the time that you have to spend with a fish. Oh, for... Is this the lifespan talk? I'm not having the lifespan talk. lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. The Ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. 
Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the Council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. But you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. The original Council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new Council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be.
I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. Sloppy thinking. Society grows by pushing against limitations. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. 
You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why's the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Now what's this? So which tech module are we supposed to get? Good confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varana say was, pick up a module. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only... Zero credit. Last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck on error, did not found. Let cause porn and payday loan can help. We offer you credit on the spot for personal and home electronic devices, precious metals and jewels, genetic essay data, and virtual intelligences. No credit check, no questions asked. All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. I'll take it. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Tupari, now available with Dextro Amino Acids. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by! I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! 
I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A decent-sized chip, even used, costs hundreds of thousands of credits. I know. It's crazy, right? But I still like to daydream when I look at the hollows. And I could do amazing things to the engines. I'd make them sing like birds. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Human. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. I'd like to buy something. Then use the catalog kiosk like everyone else. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. 
Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're going to help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. This looks interesting. Haven't seen a weapon like that in ages. I was working with the Grim Angels, a small outfit that saw action in the Verge. Came up against some Krogan, all armed to the teeth. Well, all except the Battlemaster. He came at us with one of those little pea shooters. Killed half my squad. Damn good weapon. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot, offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are... It'll kill you. Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Then I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidia. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonesy's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if I get that question. Those are res The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonesy's gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely.
be. Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? I'm done for now. All right. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. It was time for us to find our own path. I'm a spacer. Never even set foot on Earth until enlisting. But that day, we stood as one people. But what about interspecies relations? We have a new council, new friends. We took a tragic vacuum and created an opportunity. Unless you're saying humanity and our many partner species don't deserve that chance to excel. Don't insult them. It's beneath you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Here, this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice curality. What cooking school did you say you went to? I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? It's on level 23. Ask for their tummy tingling tachanka sauce. <laughs> 